Where did your dogs go, Josh? What do you mean? You said you were waiting on the dogs to come back. Oh, they were, I let them out to go to the bathroom, and they don't have a fenced-in yard because we're out in the middle of nowhere, so they wander a little further than normal. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so then I guess I will go with another magic missile. I'll hit Marath with the magic missile. Okay. For seven more points. Sounds like I'm the one going in the right direction, it looks like. Good thing we're not going in the wrong direction. Crawling ever so slowly towards your doom. Okay, uh, then the bugbears are up. Twenty six on Goot. Javelin to the Fate for four points. And then it's um Futurk's turn. Um, I guess he he cannot see that. I guess he he would be able to see the javelin being thrown. Um Javelin's a short range, so I think that would be a good sign that he can stand up. Um, I guess he'll make his move action to get closer. Um, that'll be his turn as he draws his Javelin. Oh, and I guess it'll be Mara. Um... What's the play here? Does it provoke to drink a potion? Yes. It also provokes to stand up. Yeah. Um, you said it's 15 to move half your movement without provoking while standing or something? Um, For an acrobatics? I think it's 20 to move. It's 15 to stand up. Do you have any ranks in acrobatics? No. Well, it's a train skill, so no. Oh, it's you a train skill. Stand up okay. as a uh, full round action without provoking. Um. Not. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a full round to do that, and then he's going to five foot back. I don't think we can fight this. Not with 11 hit points. No, I mean, like, we can't see the caster. And with the two well-armored guys, we might need the full group. But let's do it. If it was just the bugbears, we could do it, but not with them having caster support. Yeah. That'd be my thought too. Okay, you're up, Alex. Strategic run away. Run away. I guess I'll stand and fire on that bugbear. Okay. And not. To goot or not to goot. I'd say that's cold, but it's pretty accurate. So, do you want me to try running past the bugbears to get to the caster? 
Um, if you know where he is and you think that can work, then sure. Um, that's that's well, gonna yeah, be yeah, a yeah, huge the problem. Is I can't see anything. All right, I'll uh, I'll just attack the bugbear then. Yeah, that might be the safest thing. If we can slowly retreat, it would be ideal. That is an interesting choke point. I wonder if we can yeah, use that. All right, I will attack. And I will miss. Okay, then it's initiative. Goot's got it. With a 27. Did the source for a vaulting initiative? Oh, there we go. You're up, Goot. All right. Uh, let's go flurry. Nice. Okay. What is uh, Guchirk doing? Right now, um, he does need to provide support. So he would move and attack with the javelin on the bugbear to the right. Um, one more. Hey, I need about five minutes to put the kids to bed. Okay. Are you prone at the moment? Two. I believe Alex was. I thought he fired his bow. Yeah, I think he stood up last turn. A 13 will miss. And that is Guchirk. Okay, well then it's the sorcerer's turn, so he will attack Alex. Oh my Chick god. Woods. I think Guchirk would say he can see the enemy. Just at the edge there. Yep. Okay. Uh, the sorcerer misses, and then we will jump over to the bugbear. Uh, the first one will attack uh, Goot. 19. That would be a miss. And the second one will attack Marat with a javelin. That'll hit. On him again for another eight points. And then it is Marath's go. I think he does have to do the move action drink, the second moderate. I really hate using these. For 18. Um, that's the move action. I 
I think he would. Is Marth able to five foot here? You can technically stand there, but you can't attack anything from there. He could five. Assuming the position doesn't change, he could five foot there without provoking, right? Uh, no, there's not enough room to move to that square to the north. Okay. Um, then... Stand on the edge of the, uh, the cliff there. Yeah, I guess his answer then is... I, I can do an aid another to help Qt's AC, I guess. I, okay. I can't help the attack against the bugbear though, right? Um, I'm not sure how eight another works. You could also just jump across the, uh, crack there and go attack the other bugbear. Hmm. It's only a decent that's, 10 to jump across there. That's true. So let's prepare for that. Let's, I'm going to have to drink the cure of light wounds. Well, you could just jump across now. I could, but I'm going to need the HP to withstand that and when the caster attacks me again. Fair enough. So let's do a nine. And I will five foot closer. And that is Marath's turn. Okay. Alex, you're up. Not even to my favorite part of this uh, encounter. Of course. Oh, good God. Okay, Goot, you're up first again. Oh, I didn't realize it was initiative time already. I needed to re-roll it. So I'm not first. You are not first. So the uh, sorcerer will, I think, use his last spell. Last shot. He will try once again to hit Alex. Hasn't he missed every time? Uh, nope. He hit uh, approximately 33% of the time. Alex, you take 11 points of Scorching Ray damage. And then it's your go. Three in a row. That's actually a one, actually a three, and a two. You're my hero. If uh, the party gets TPK'd, it's your fault. <laughs> I am uh, so blaming. I'm so messaging Jesse later. Yeah, it's really just Jesse's fault. Um, it's Guchurk's turn. Um, let's go against... What would the even penalties be? Uh, third range penalty minus six? No chance. So... Yeah, just gonna have to go against the bugbear on the right there. Natural one, okay. He loses that one into the abyss. Good thing he's got four more. And 
and that'll be his turn. Okay, Goot, you're up. All right. Can I five foot step north? Yep. And let's flurry. See where that gets me. Okay. Nice. nice. That's one hit. Goot, the one hit wonder. I'm surprised I'm getting those hits, by the way. No, I believe in you. I don't. Okay, so the bugbear will attack you, um, Goot. Missing again, wow. I'm just saying, if you want to fight for it, like, but like here, he could definitely attack me, and that would be a hit. Uh, why would he do that? Uh, he could hit someone. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but his goal is to stop Goot from getting past him. Not doing a good job. He's doing an excellent job. Goot's He's almost spent past. two or three rounds so far not getting past him. Just two rounds. Nah, I've cast three Scorching Rays and two Magic Missiles. It's been fine. Yeah, but the first round, we didn't even know about the Bugbears. We were huddled in the corner. Yeah, but they were still stopping you from getting by. If you want to give them credit, sure. I am giving them credit. The other okay. Bugbear will uh, lob a Javelin at Mara. Okay, that hits. That never gets old. Um, and then it's Mara. Let's go. Hmm. I will five foot and attack. Do I don't want to go for the home? No. And I should have gone for the home. Would I work? No, I wouldn't have. Um, 22. Uh, 22. And that will be my turn. Okay, then it's initiative. Hopefully we can resolve this before uh, the end of the session. That would be nice. Okay, Goot, you're up first. All right, let's flurry. Nice. Be enough to drop him. Okay, you doing anything else? I don't think I can. I think uh, Flurry blows the full round action. Okay, we can technically take a five foot step if you want. Sure. Okay, then it's uh, Alex's go. Then we're on to Marath. I will move and possibly attack. Okay. 
You want to give me a balance check? Can I use athletics? Uh, no. Should just five foot over. You could do that. Uh, if I know that's unstable footing, could I have done that? Yep. Cool. I appreciate it. And 21. And that is the turn. Okay. Uh, then it is the sorcerer's turn. Amazing how we all went before the enemy for once. I think this is the first time. Not kind of good trick, but that's fine. So he'll move up to there. And then we are on to the bugbear, who will attack Mara. Okay, it hits. It does, in fact, hit. Wailing on him for 11 points. And then it's uh, Gutrick's turn. Um... I think he's going to pull out the battle axe since he just lost his spear. And he's going to move. That'll be the turn. I'm excited. I'm scared for him. Okay, then it's initiative. The sorcerer will fire his crossbow at Gutrick. Gutrick. Missing horribly. Uh, Goot, you're up. Alright. Do you have that bugbear or do you want me to go onto what looks like boards? I should have it. All right. Famous last words. Hey, I didn't I say I got, got I said I should. It's better than what I was going to do with Morath. I was going to have him hulk onto the rocks, like throw himself bodily and climb. Only problem is I do lose the light at a certain point. Yeah, that, yeah, that third point is uh, how far you can currently see. Just delay for now. Alright, I will delay my action then. Okay, Amarath, you're up. I will attack. Nice. And what what is this white thing? Is this like a guard or something? Uh, it appears to be a rail you can hang on to. How wide is is this board? Uh, about two feet wide. Okay. It's a DC-10 balance check to cross it. And you said this is just a normal rock wall? Yep, that would be a DC-15 climb check. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw myself at the rock like the Hulk and just like climb across. Okay, go nuts. Cool. Twenty-four. Nice. Okay, so you can uh, move along at uh, half your movement. Okay, that was fifteen. So I have fifteen left. So that'd be five. So I guess I'd be. I'm gonna climb up. So I'm gonna be, I guess, five feet in the air then. Okay. Just gonna put Stick wings. Stick yourself or where you want to be. Cool. And where is what's that be here doing? Then. Guchirk is seeing the bow. He might he might think he'd have a decent chance, so he's gonna do the acrobatics. You said it was acro, right? Yep, DC ten. He's plus four for being small too. Ah, oh, uh, wonderful. So it's half. Yeah, you can move it half his moving rate with each check. Oh, with each check. Um, I'm just going to make a second one quick, if that's fine. Okay. Is that fair? That is very fair. Um, hang on, I'll check out what the uh, DC is. Okay, you want to give me another balance check as he moves across the greased board? 24. Oh, wow. Okay. Guchirk is the master acrobatic acrobaticist. Wonderful. He will, I guess, share in the prime planes common uh, that which, I assume it's this board? Or are they both greased? That uh, he'll point that out. Um, and yeah, I guess he has the battle axe, but that was his move action. I guess does he want to five foot? Um, no, he's gonna keep that distance for now. Okay. Okay, then it's Alex's turn. I right, think is that fifty percent miss right there for me. Um, if you can't see him, yep. I can just see him. He's on the if edge can... of shadow illumination. Yeah, if you can see him, he's in your shadowy area. Okay, that's a hit. All right, good. Does that give you a little bit more light? Uh, yeah, I'm. I can at least see where where he is, so I should should be able to get to him, or I get closer. Oh, well, sure go. All right. Let's see, but the goblin's kind of in my way, but it's really about as far as I can get. So I got to make a balance check once I get to this board. You have to make a balance check for every uh, half your movement you move across. So your movement's 40. So, you so yes, four squares, four squares. The balance check. So balance check there. Nice. Okay, then you can make the second one. Uh, 
but I can't really get past the goblin. So, plus that's about as far as I can really go. I think. Okay. Okay, uh, the sorcerer will uh, fire his crossbow at the goblin. That'll hit. For three points, and he can roll his poison save. Twenty-four. Wow. Can't count Gutrick out yet. And then he will cast No Light on uh, himself. I'm sorry, what? He will cast No Light on himself. Is that a fancy way of seeing darkness? Uh, yes. Okay. Does that cover the place? Got it. And then... I think that's all of his... Oh no, he hasn't moved, so he can take a five-foot step. And then it's Alex's go. Now he is in darkness. If I were to blindly fire, now nah, he moved, so I would miss. Okay. You doing anything else? Just faith minor on myself. Okay. Goot, you're up. So now it's dark where I am? Yes. Till one of your brave heroes uh, gets closer. Marth, how Marth, are you at 11 when you're clearly not using your weapon? That is a wonderful question. You know, I'm glad you are here to ask the key questions. It changes absolutely nothing about initiative, but I was just I'm going to hold action because if I can't see and I've got the goblin right ahead of me on these boards, I don't want to accidentally pu push the poor little guy off. So okay. I will hold for now. Uh, then it is uh, Guchurk's turn. He is going to charge the sorcerer. Okay, you want to give me another acrobatics? Oh, I thought it was on the... Uh, I guess that would be passing that square. I see. Okay. Damn it, I should have done something. You definitely should have done something. Sorry, guys. My bad. What was your something? Cast light on an arrow and fire it. That would have been pure genius. It's almost like you've played an archer before. 
Yeah, it's coming back to me. A natural one. Okay. Nice. Okay, Marath, you're up. Uh, let's do an athletics to, I guess, scale laterally. Okay. I'm just going to make a second one just so I can finish my move. Okay, those are both successful. Okay, that'll be the double movement here, and I guess I'll just drop down here. Okay. Does his light coin do anything here? Uh, yes, when you get to this point, your light spell is much more powerful than his, so it uh, overwrites it. Cool. So if I can see now, uh, I'll take my turn. Okay. You can start by making your acrobatics. Certainly can. Nice. I'll take that attack of opportunity. Oh, wait, he's got a bow, right? Yeah, he's got a crossbow, so he doesn't have a weapon he can attack you with. All right. And then I will attack. Okay, Alex, you're up first. Wall refs in there? Yeah, so you can see to attack. All right, I'm done. What was the D20 plus six? Oh, is that you're going across the board? Yeah. Okay, then it is Goot's turn. All right, let's go ahead, Flurry. Oh, Goot caves his head in. So lucky my next action was to move away and drink a potion. Speaking of with, since I think we want to leave close to the end of the time, is that the end of the round? Yeah. Well, it's not the end of the round. Sorcerer still has his turn. He bleeds, and then uh, Goochurk can take his action. Then Marath can walk up and look at stuff. Cool. I guess um, Goochurk will try to coup de gras something for once, and which would be 10 points minimum on the could confirm, and then uh, Marath will loot him. 
I totally forgot you. He had the wand of burning hands. I was waiting until you guys got on the planks to hit you with the burning hands, and then I totally forgot about it. I was wondering what the arrow was for since I didn't see anything. Okay. What arrow? You, uh, when he had, before you had moved him over there, you drew like an arrow along this board, so I wasn't sure why, but now that makes sense. Actually, at that point, I was just figuring out where the best place to put the uh, the grease would be. Uh. It's described as a 10-foot square. I wanted to pick a square that would fuck with as much of your movement as possible. I see. That was the entire premise behind this uh, encounter, is having it set up so that you guys have to fight your way over to where he is, and when you get there, he greases the board so you can't get across. Yeah, yeah, that's... Honestly, I thought someone was just going to push us off. That's why I want to climb. Yeah, if you'd failed the balance check, you could make a climb check to try and grab onto the rail. And if you're holding onto the rail, it's basically a uh, gimme. It's only a DC 5. Uh, but the last section of it, you have to walk where the grease is. There's nothing there to hold onto. Ah, uh, I see. Um, one, well, two. Cool. Yeah, no, it was, I'm surprised. I'm so sad I had to drink two of those potions. So that you can get there and do nothing? Uh, I, I tanked a lot of damage. I'll, I'll take it. What was the DC in the grease? Uh, the DC on the grease would have been 16. So it's not particularly hard. Well, I failed. Yeah, but you don't have to make the save unless you are in the square when it's cast. But oh, you know, that's good. why Gucher had to do it. Okay. If you spend your turn in the square, then you have to make the save again. But you can cross the square without any uh, issue. A creature can walk okay. within or through the area at half normal speed. Yeah, I was very disappointed when I read it and didn't say when you enter the area, you have to make the reflex save. Yeah. Would you like to try to identify one, two, three, four items? The only thing he can identify is the potion. Oh. We have three potions? One, uh, yeah, it should be three, I think. Yeah, the bugbears have the same thing the bugbears always have, and then the extra potion. Nailed all three. Nice. Okay, uh, the two bugbears have cure mods, and the drow has a cure light. You get all the treasure there, treasure collector? Yeah, the bugbears are two mods. Uh, sorcerer at one. Stuff. Sorry, what? Plus the normal stuff. Studded leather. Yeah. yeah. Battle axes. Great axes. Oh, I still want that cloak of charisma. Why do you want a cloak of charisma? Because I currently have 11 charisma. Okay. I'd like some charisma to turn if I have to. Oh, okay. What was the potion for from the sorcerer identified as? Cure light. Thank you. Okay, well that seems like a good place to call it. Uh, you guys got any questions before uh, take off? Uh, no. Thank you very much. That was an awesome session. I cannot believe how far you guys got without your druid. Yeah. Oh, obvious question. Obligatory even. Did we level? Yes, you did. Once you asked. Yeah, of course. Um, Alex, you're your... taking the cloak. Sorry, what? Have your characters ready for next time. Sounds good. Will do. So, uh, right. why is it we can't identify the items? Is that just because no detect magic? Or what allows us to detect potions then? Uh, potions can be uh, done with a uh, spellcraft and a detect magic. 
Um, it's a DC 25 to identify a potion. Um, and then you get uh, a plus five bonus if you cast Detect Magic beforehand. For other magic items, you need to uh, cast a spell to identify them. So most of the time that's the identify spell. Um, there's a cleric spell that is third level that allows you to do it. It's called aura reading. You can do uh. one magic item per level. So if you can find a fifth level cleric who's willing to help you, um, they can identify it for you. Or you have to find a arcane spellcaster who uh, is capable of doing it. I see. Thank you very much. All right. Later, guys. Have a good night. Yep. Thanks for the game.